I'll never forget Corn Pop. Huh. He was a bad dude. No joke. Oh, that is not a 92. There's no way the movie's a 92. No, 36, that's better. I am Mecca, and uh, so so we watched this My Son Hunter movie, uh, Gina Carano's in it. Why did we watch this? Who are you? Why are you here? I'm Rob off camera. We, <laughs> we watched this because it was there. It looked funnier than Clerks 3. Yeah. It was between that and Clerks 3, and I'm like, you know what? This might be good for a laugh. This is a, mm -hmm. a no-budget, independent movie. Yeah. Every time I watch one of these with Gina Carano in it, I'm just reminded of... The, the religious and movies and all that stuff. The, the Kirk Cameron Saves Christmas? Yes! Oh god, those are so amazing. So, so I'm watching this as like one of those type of movies. So we do have a full review coming up. I, I was right, they aren't letting real critics review this. You want to click on that? Yeah, I mean there's only two critics from, <laughs> from two critics reviewing this movie. And um, <laughs> one from a, a person named Alan Nig. N-G. Is that, how do you pronounce that? There's no vowel. Ing. Ing? Ing? Ing, I guess? A biased story with zero nuance or flair for presentation of the other side. Yeah. And another from Charles Bromesco of The Guardian. Well, to, to be fair, the, the news in the mainstream media, I, I believe, is their intended other side. So they do yeah, give well, plenty of clips of that. Yeah, and Charles Bromesco <laughs> is the other name from The Guardian. He's a top critic. And he says, writing critically about a film like My Son Hunter feels kind of like sending the kid making fart noises from the back of the class to detention. <laughs> yeah, it's, so that's what critics are thinking of this. It's, it's bad. Now listen, we, we 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 kind of try to view this as a piece of art, not as making any statement. <laughs> but but I mean, there's obviously going to be some political opinions expressed in yeah. this, mostly from Rob because I'm trying to be a little yeah, more neutral on yeah, this one. Well, but for crying out loud, yeah, yeah we're we're gonna. I'll take I'll take whatever whatever well, licks I'm gonna right. get for this one. Okay. I'm sure I'll get ratioed for it. It's, it's enjoy a, the review. <laughs> it's gonna be a long one. Sit back and enjoy. We are in the middle of a Fall Guys stream. <laughs> We're in the middle of a Fall Guys stream, and I said that twice because I have no idea when it started recording. Rob, did he just make yeah. it? He made it. You made it. I made it. I made it. I made it too. So, we just watched My Son Hunter. Oh my god. People, people put money behind that. People put money behind... Alright. Make sure you're close to the microphone and your levels are up Okay, too. well it got turned down. I had to there turn the level back up. There you go. People put money behind it, you were saying? People were paid money to film, film that, write it, and film it. It's, it's, it's so bad. It thinks it's a lot smarter than it actually is. It is and Ms. Marvel levels of cringe. In so many places, this movie. It is, it has like a speech bubble pop up where he's talking to a dog with cartoon speech bubbles. Mm -hmm. It's got his beating heart over on the side, like a, a like a, like a PNG, like, a transparent PNG. <laughs> yeah, like a PNG, like it, like like show his heart is gonna explode from doing all the all the illegal substances, you know. I don't know what we can say about that, but yeah. Well, the video, if, if we do a video on this, it'll already be, it'll already be banned if we do a video on this because it's Hunter Biden's laptop. So this, this, I guess, is designed to convince people. For, first off, this is like the pure flicks of political movies, okay? So for people who aren't familiar, pure flicks does all like the super heavy-handed religious Christian movies. The really, really bad ones, the cringe ones. Mm. And uh, this, this is like a Kirk Cameron movie level bad. <laughs> They, they, but it's got Ms. Marvel cringe, and it thinks it's like a Guy Ritchie movie or something. Th this, yeah, this <laughs> is like, it's, it's, un it's hard to describe. It really is. It is so hard to describe. It, it is memes, the movie. It's memes, the I mean, movie. Every, yeah. They've got, they show you the. It's like you fed a bunch of memes into a computer. And it spit out a script. Oh, the bastard just knocked me off the platform. Oh no. Oh no. Cheater. A win for us. Yeah, you, you, you fed a bunch of memes through a computer, into a computer, and it 
spit out a script. And it... It's... Like I said, it, it's... It's... <clears throat> it's just me. They show you a Fox News clip, and they and they show you, oh, all the, they were mostly peaceful. A, a black guy, a black technician or a computer guy comes in. Was he the computer guy? Who the hell was he? And he and she's like, like I thought only I thought whoever he was. And he and she and he's like, I'm the black face of white supremacy. I'm the black face of white supremacy. Oh no! I, I'm the black black face of white supremacy. He comes in and he says that. A black conservative. Because he's basically red pilling this hooker. So first off, we see Gina Carano set up in the very beginning. There's a lot of fourth wall breaking. Gina Carano plays like a Secret Service agent that Hunter Biden or no that that, that uh, Joe Biden literally sniffs. <laughs> Corn pop was a bad dude. <laughs> he literally says corn pop was a bad dude. <laughs> this movie was awful. Oh, this movie was awful. It is so boring. It feels longer than it is. It is meant to, to like shock people into being upset. I could even get canceled. Th this movie is every meme, you know, they show the Fox News and they're like fiery but mostly peaceful protests. They show, uh, what are the other memes? BLM protesters, I mean, oh, we can't, we can't, we can't, uh, show this story. We can't show you this know? story, we're the mainstream media. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> what are you, a Trump supporter? <laughs> hilarious. I've never discussed businesses with my son and my brother. As a matter of fact, anyone else. So he, he's, te he's telling his life story to uh, his hooker, basically. Yeah. And she pulls out the, well, my family were Chinese missionaries, and we saw this firsthand, and here's our auntie, and she's in a concentration camp, and she's probably dead now. Our Chinese auntie, and uh, it's just a heavy-handed thing. And this is how they do it. They, they separate the children from the families, and they indoctrinate your children, and blah, 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 blah. And, and this is just every single talking point I have seen in, you know, like, like recited back verbatim. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> and for me, like, for, for somebody, like, kind of neutral, I'll, I'll be the neutral thing. I asked Rob, I turned to Rob, and I'm like, would you have voted differently had you known everything in this movie beforehand? No, no, because and here's why. Say it louder. Uh, no, and here's why. Because Hunter <laughs> Biden has nothing to do with the United States government. He is not in a position of power in the United States government. He is not, does not hold a cabinet position. He does not, he had no, in, it was, oh, we have a barisma. I'm like, okay, you know what? That, that's, a, a, that's someone's old man getting, uh, trying to turn their kid's life around, okay? Yeah, okay, did he profit from it? Yeah, okay, but you know what? The Bidens are corrupt. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows the Bidens are corrupt. And we've known for ages that the Bidens are corrupt. But according to this yeah. movie, it implicates Joe Biden in dirty, shady something. It's like, okay, which crook do you want? I don't care. They're all crooks. I mean, I I don't know. Leave me out of it. And <laughs> leave me out of it because I don't care. And we could have watched uh, the Kevin Smith movie. We could have watched Clerks 3 instead. But we went with oh, this one because it seemed funnier. <laughs> just, just, oh yeah, it is funnier. It, it is was funnier. hilarious, don't get me wrong. So this movie is unintentionally hilarious in the way that Pure Flix movies are hilarious. I mean, it's supposed to shock you. Mm. It's supposed to be funny in other ways. It's supposed to be funny and <laughs> they did a meme and to me it's like, oh, how cute. They're talking in memes. It's supposed to shock you by showing you Hunter Biden is degenerate in the first few minutes, but I'm like, all you've done is make him look more awesome. Yeah, you made him look cool. And then you make him look like he's like a daddy's boy who 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 wants his father to be proud. And then it's like, oh, it's just about revenge. Oh, well, is it though? I thought he was. I just want to be an artist. <laughs> like, what? I want to be an artist. I'm like, yeah. I mean, then you, then you make him like, I'm like, oh my god, this poor guy. <laughs> you know. It's, so it's, is that is that the point of the movie? This to... is a movie. This is a movie that doesn't know what point it's trying to make. 
Right. Are you, are you trying to say they're corrupt? Are you trying to say Hunter Biden is this poor lost soul that is just just wants his father's approval? Are you trying to say that he's a lonely guy? He's just looking for someone to come home to at night. You know, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that the government of the United States is corrupt? Are you trying to say the Russians are? What are you trying to say? They're trying, trying to like- make connections, I think, that we're going to have surveillance everywhere and be rounded up for a genocide. If we don't, if we vote for their guy, I guess. But voting didn't have anything to do with it because then they're saying that the election was not legit. (laughs) So I'm like, okay, so if if it didn't matter who we voted for. Malarkey. That's a baloney sandwich. It It sets him up as this criminal mastermind, but then it makes him forget how to use his phone. Like he holds his phone upside down. Yeah, so. I mean, Corn Pop's a bad dude. I mean, they actually say Corn Pop's a bad dude. <laughs> corn Pop was a In the limo bad to his kid, dude. verbatim. Like I said, this is this is a bunch of memes fed into a computer, <laughs> and it came up, with, and they pressed enter, and they and it printed up a script. It's awful. Really? No wonder they won't let critics review it. It's awful. Is that true? They won't let critics review it? That's what I heard. I heard that they won't let, like, legit critics... It's got, like, a 90-something user review. This movie is terrible. It is... It is... It is as bad as Birdemic. It's Birdemic cringe, all right? Like, they break the fourth wall out of the blue for no reason. Gina Carano is a secret service agent, but it flashes to a fantasy of we don't know who, we don't know. Okay, is she fantasizing or is Joe Biden fantasizing? Yeah, About she, sniffing it, her. And then she's like, look at what us women have to put up with. <laughs> that turns into a pro-feminism movie. <laughs> Where the where the where the hooker with the heart of gold goes in and saves the day and or tries to she tries to go the, to the to the newspaper man who's on a 1930s typewriter. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, okay, all right. Well, uh, you know what? A lot of reporters are eccentric, but that just seems very very odd. Yeah. And he even accused. He's like, "Are you a Trump supporter? Why would you even say this? This is just Russian misinformation." Are you a Trump supporter? <laughs> He has the even the old school fedora and the suspenders, okay? And the cigar. And the cigar. He might he might as well be like he might as well Yeah. God, uh, I got eliminated. Oh, me too. <laughs> Kirk Cameron movies. Or it's in the it's in the league with like Kirk Cameron movies. This movie is like this is like one of those movies you get in a fifty pack of like nothing movies. Right, where where you know Gina Carano's only in like the very first scene because she's the most famous person in the movie. Yo, she's yo, in one yeah, scene. Yeah. Now the guy who wrote this wrote a bunch of books like the Chronicles of the Watch Watchers or Chronicles of the uh, the Apocalypse guy. I I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he wrote a bunch of. I guess you'd call him a B-list author. This is hilarious, though. This is unintentionally bad. Unintentionally hilarious. Well, this is going to be quickly forgotten. Years from now, he goes. Years from now, there's going to be like a thing on. No, no. This is going to make like the riff track rounds. They like they need to riff this movie. (laughs) This needs to reach like the room level of 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 epicness. this This will be like in the same the same breath as the room. Maybe Human Centipede. <laughs> but yeah, this is... It's because it's, it's Hunter Biden does make Gina Carano eat his asshole. That doesn't happen. They have... And Rob said one time, did I edit this? They have pop-up text. They have dings and ka sounds. <laughs> yeah, all, all editing techniques that I use. <laughs> yeah, it's edited like a YouTube video. Press T. Then go high. Then, then we sign with then we team It is. It's edited like YouTube. With the little pop-ups and the ka-chings. What I'm doing is funny, okay? When, yeah. when it's in a, in a, a, a like, major motion picture. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be a comedy, but is it though? Not in this way. Like, we're, la- we're laughing at, at the... I, I'm laughing at the things that they never intended me to laugh at, I think. Qualified. I'm trying what to. What is the movie's name? It's called My Son Hunter. 
like I said, you can find it on I, I don't know. But it's I think it's on the Daily Wire or something. But you can you can find it elsewhere on the internet. Just look for it. You'll find it if you want to see it. We could have been watching Clerks Three. <laughs> I'm don't, don't get me wrong. I'm glad I watched it. Uh, it's just for the so I could talk about it. But this is. I only watched it because I thought it'd be funnier than Clerks Three, and it is. Yeah, I, think. I think Mission Accomplished. Yeah, <laughs> we kept just going. Oh my god, this isn't a real movie. This is really in the movie. Just the lines and the dialogue. The dialogue is just so terrible. It's cliche. It reads Man. like a Tim Pool thumbnail. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Every scene is like a Tim Pool thumbnail, yeah. <laughs> There's a whole limo scene that goes on for forever. But I must eat up a good half hour of the movie. Oh god. And yeah, Gina Cron is only in like two scenes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you got fourth wall breaking, sometimes you don't. It's like it's like She Hulk. It's like She Hulk, okay? I put it on the, the, the exact same type of stuff for the exact same reasons. Because oh, it's memes, God. it's cringe, nothing makes sense in the universe. No. There, there was on one scene, you're like, how this is weird editing. He, I guess he's supposed to be having like a crack breakdown where he's laughing on the inside. See, this actor, they have to cut away. If it was Matt Smith, he would convey it in his eyes. You know, he would he would convey this mental break, this hilarity, this this I don't know whether the to laugh or cry moment. The psychotic laughs. Yeah, psychotic. but no, here they have to sloppily edit it. He even said, "What is this?" And, and we realized it was intentional. They did it on purpose. We thought it was a mistake. Is that a mistake in the editing? <laughs> it's like no, no, no. They did that on purpose. Ah. Uh. Gina Carano, she talks to the camera. Yeah, she breaks the fourth wall. All the time. And if anybody's familiar with Gina Carano and her acting. And you can trust them. They never discuss their business around the world. Okay. No, but she doesn't have to act. She's an action star. But they don't let her do any action. She's just standing around in a suit. Getting sniffed by Joe yeah, Biden. <laughs> This movie's bad. Listen, I've watched a lot of bad movies. <laughs> yeah, I had cable in the early 80s. All right? Some of which I like. You know, I've seen I saw, I watched the movie with Donnie Most. Willingly. So, yeah, what would you give this movie? Out of 10. Out of Chewbacca. Oh, I'd give it a, I'd give it a half of Chewbacca. I, it doesn't, it's not contemptible enough to give it a Jar Jar. <clears throat> But it gets about a half a Chewbacca. Oh, they made this even harder. It, 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 it's a, it tries to be a movie. Oh, come on, yeah. Well, it tries to be a movie, in, but I mean, it has a beginning and a middle, sort of, and an end. It, it, was shot on, it was shot on a film. And then they give you all this news clip of, like, the Fox News and, and all the yes. reporters saying the same thing over and over Someone's again. Yes. It's like their, their, uh, their fantasy of, of like... <laughs> Like if, if things had turned out differently. You know. Oh, she has a she has a dream where where the, the laptop went out and Trump won and yes. And I'm like, see, she is a Trump supporter. <laughs> she is. And then it's all a dream and a fairy tale. I thought she swore she wasn't though. <laughs> like she's being persecuted. Robert Davi is the main oh. as the as in the main villain the license in License to Kill. I I I think so. I didn't qualify. Did you qualify? Yes, I did. Lucky. Pope Bob rate this movie for Rosary, Rosary Beats. Pope Bob Iger does not. Pope Bob Iger does not give this movie his blessing. No. This movie's a three out of ten. Only for the unintentional comedy. It, the movie Angry Panda. The movie is called My Son Hunter, <laughs> which is uh, <laughs> which is an effort to make a movie about uh, Hunter Biden and all his shenanigans. <laughs> My man! Like, what was this supposed to accomplish? Because that's what I want to know. Hunter Biden, son of former Vice President Joe Biden, was arrested today by the FBI. Focusing, making this movie was a colossal waste of time. 
Yeah, and it's, it's a bad movie to boot. It's cringe. It's not going to convince anybody who any anybody who didn't vote one way or another. No, because Marshall of Hoffman. how heavy-handed and ham-fisted, and how much like a pure flicks movie this was. Like the, the the people don't realize that these movies that these that these people on on the uh, canceled side, I should say, are cranking out are no better than these religious movies than these. Who cares? All the attention is off me. So that's why I watched this movie because it's literally the same thing from both from both sides. This type of bullshit. It's it's and I was trying to convince Rob or hoping that Rob would kind of see that because I'll hear him listening to his politics shit. <clears throat> And I'll be listening to the ones where I'm like trying to study how they do their little grifts. I can't. Get, I just don't. I just don't care that much. I don't have it in me to fake. <laughs> yeah. So. This movie's awful. Don't watch it unless you want to laugh. And no, I don't think it's gonna convince anybody. And that's just, that's just, I hear the same thing so much. They're reciting back the, oh, well, all these people would have voted different, like, if they really, or are they just saying that? Who cares? So. You know, <laughs> who cares and what would have I, mattered anyway? This one. Then, yeah. then if you go by the other movie, the other movie says they were just printing off ballots. So wouldn't have they just printed more? I'm going back to my live chat. Don't you go anywhere. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye! I'm the blackface of white supremacy. Why me?